just look at this place. Givat Olga. One of Israel's poorest and most neglected neighborhoods. It is populated mainly by new immigrants, unemployed people, and single parent families. In this harsh environment, people are yearning for a small piece of heaven, for a place of sanity and hope in the midst of it all. And so last year, Givol Democratic School was established. 250 children attend the school from kindergarten age to high school. Many of them were expelled from other institutions and were at risk of ending up on the streets. The school has a basic principle. Identify each child's individual strengths and nurture them. It could be a circus, a storytelling class, from business enterprise lessons to hairdressing and bicycle repair workshop. The sky is the limit. In the words of Janusz Korczak, there are no bad children. There are only children whose lives are bad. This is Simcho. He is only 10 years old and has already been expelled from several schools. In Givol, he finally found his place. It was only here that his rare drawing talent was first detected. The idea to establish a democratic school in Givat Olga was initiated by Mr. Yaakov Hecht, chairman of the Israeli Democratic Institution. He himself was born here and knows exactly what it's like to be a talented child who gets lost in the regular system. The teachers in Givol truly care about what the child likes and what his interests are. Following that, the children are the ones who put together their own schedule. <laughs> But slogans alone do not a revolution make. The children suffer from the winter cold and from the hot and humid weather in the summer. They need more classes, equipment, computers and hot meals. And these things, as we know, cost money. Studies have shown that the democratic teaching method improves the student's performance by 80%. It is thus no surprise that the violence rate in Givol is among the lowest in Israel. Eli, the school's workshop coordinator, explains.
The children start their day at a small group meeting with their tutor in which they share their experiences and where each student chooses what he or she wishes to study that day. <laughs> סוף סוף אני רואה עוד פעם גיץ של סקרנות ואכפתיות בילד, מה שהיה לו כשהוא היה בגן, ונעלם לו מיד כשהוא נכנס לבית ספר הרגיל. שרק היחס הזה יעזור להם לצמוח אה, מחוץ למצוקה שבה הם גדלים. הייתי בחוג שנקרא גם טעים וגם בריא. יריב, the school's headmaster, He's meeting his two daughters during recess. He's not the only staff member who brought his own family here. In a project called Pioneer, 30 teachers have moved into the neighborhood and opened their hearts and their homes to the children of Olga. We have a need to help us to build our team of the Chaluts who have come to the Gur here. We call it the Amets Chaluts. We ask people to take the Chaluts and take it 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 until he will be a leader of the Chaluts. עידן, שיהיה לך אחלה יום. יאללה, תורך. המורים שבאו לגור פה עזבו משרות נוחות, עזבו חברות מצליחות, ובאו במיוחד למקום הזה כדי להיות פה עם הילדים. ואני חושב שהסיבה היא, זה האהבה האמיתית והכנה שלהם אל הילדים. כל מה שאנחנו רוצים זה שאנשים טובים יבואו לבית הספר הזה. אנשים ש... מבינים שזאת הדרך היחידה ליצור פה שינוי. מה שאנחנו מנסים לעשות כאן זה ליצור כוח חיצוני שיוצר שינוי במערכת החינוך, ליצור דגם שאליו המדינה תצטרף בהמשך. מבחינתנו החזון הוא היום שכל ילד פה בשכונה יגיע לתואר אקדמי. Let's make their dreams come true.